we already know the Mate X2 is in the works and it's been confirmed to launch this February. Now we have some crucial information about the display. If you want to get more tech related videos, then definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future video. Huawei CEO confirmed that their next foldable device, the Mate X2, is going to launch on the 22nd of February in China. It's expected to be powered by the Kirin 9000 SoC, which is the last chip from Huawei since the company can't produce any more Kirin chips due to the US restrictions. So we can expect the Mate X2 to come in very limited quantity. Anyway, it was previously reported that Huawei might source the inner folding panel from both Samsung and BOE. But now, a new report whose source is from the supply chain claims that the inward folding flexible OLED display for the Mate X2 is exclusively being offered by BOE and there's no role for Samsung. Now, this could be due to the fact that Samsung is yet to receive a special license from the US government in order to do any sort of business with Huawei. Or it could be that Huawei wants to patronize and develop its home country's major display manufacturer, BOE. But BOE has failed quite a lot of quality tests from major brands like Apple and Samsung. And that's why their panels are not on any of the iPhone 12 series or the Galaxy S21 Plus as previously rumored. So Huawei relying solely on BOE for such a complex display is quite worrisome. Other specs of the Mate X2 includes an 8-inch main display and a 6.5-inch cover display with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. It's expected to launch with Android 10 out of the box and not the latest Android 11, also because of the US restrictions which prevents them from working with Google. A 50-megapixel primary sensor, a 16-megapixel sensor, a 12-megapixel and an 8-megapixel lens, and on the front, a 16-megapixel selfie shooter. It's gonna house a 4,400 mAh battery and support 66 watts of wire charging. Anyway, that's all for me in this video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.